Today I will show you some cool features and tricks in CapCut for desktop. Thanks to CapCut for making this video possible. You only need CapCut for all your YouTube editing from A to Z. CapCut is the ultimate all-in-one solution covering script, thumbnails, editing, captions, sound, music and more. In the tutorial part of the video, I will show you some very useful tricks that you must try. So, let's get into it. The first trick you have to try is the cutout transition. It's incredibly easy to create and here is how it looks. Double click on CapCut and then click on New Project. Now click on Import button and select two videos. Drag them to the timeline and then position them as I did. Now click on the video you want to be after the transition and then select the cutout feature on the right side of the screen. Turn on the chroma key option and then add a keyframe at the beginning of the video. Select color picker and then drag it to the one color in the video. Increase the strength and then decrease it after a few frames. After you apply these steps, your video should look like this. To make it better, click on animations and select fade in animation. Now move the video to the place where you want the transition to start. After editing, my video looks like this. To export the video, click the export button in the upper right corner. You can adjust the settings and then click on export. This feature is great if you want to separate scenes from a video you've already edited. After importing your video, drag it to the timeline. Before editing, my video looks like this. As you can see, my video has three scenes. To split scenes, right-click on your video and select Split Scene option. Wait a few seconds for the process to complete. Now you can edit each scene or add transitions that you like. I decided to add pull-in and pull-out transitions. After editing, my video looks like this. Now I will show you where you can find voice effects. This is how my video sounds before editing. In this video I will show you 5 amazing video effects you need to try. First, I extracted the audio and split it into multiple parts, allowing me to demonstrate various voice effects and how they sound. Now click on audio and then on right side turn on voice effects. Choose the voice effect you want and then adjust the settings. After choosing the voice effects I wanted, my video sounds like this. In this video I will show you 5 amazing video effects you need to try. Did you know that you can edit your thumbnails in CapCut? Now I will show you how. First, drag your video to the timeline. Click on the pen icon next to the video. If you want, you can import a photo from your computer or select a frame from your video. Once you've selected a frame, press the edit button. Here you can crop your photo as you like.
on the left side you can choose the template you like, while on the right side you can edit it. You can easily change and position the text as you like the most. Click on the text option if you want to add more text. After that, click on default text. Here you can add new text and below you can adjust all the settings. When you finish editing, click complete and then export the video. After exporting, your thumbnail will be saved along with your video. Now in CapCut you can check if your video has a copyright. Click on audio and then below click on copyright check. Now click on the check button and then wait for the process to complete. Here you can see if your video will be muted on TikTok. Click on the change sound option to replace a song. Below you will get the songs that you can use in your videos. Add a song you like by clicking on the plus button. All you need to do is to remove the old song and replace it with a new one. You can easily find many cool transitions and sound effects in CapCut. And now I will show you how to add a glitch transition and how to find the right sound effects for it. Before editing my videos look like this. To add the transition between your videos, click on the transition option at the top of the screen. Now in glitch section select glitch transition. Drag it between your videos. The transition now looks like this. When we add the sound effect it will be perfect. Now click on the audio option and in the search box type glitch. Once you've chosen a sound effect, click on the plus button and then match it to your transition. Click on the transition and then set the duration to be the same as the duration of the sound effect. After editing my video looks like this. Thanks for watching and don't forget to download CapCut for amazing video edits. The link is in the video description.